It's from test 71. It's the first logical reasoning section, question number three. I want to give you just a couple of minutes to walk through the review, to walk through and attempt this question, and then we'll talk about it together. So just take a minute or so, and then we'll talk about it. I'll show you the student written explanation, and we'll take it from there. This is student submitted thought process for this question. The student is saying, this was a simple question. I got it correct. I picked it because I like that it allows you to predict the answer before answering the questions. Exactly. So this student correctly saw, of course, this is a flaw question. And the student's saying that this student prephrased or predicted the answer or predicted the, the flaw and articulated it for themselves before looking at the choices. And the answer is, in fact, the student is correct here. The evidence is about moderate alcohol consumption, but the conclusion is about alcohol consumption on balance in general. So th that's a bit of a leap there from evidence to conclusion. To, it's a sort of scope shift. They're broadening what they're talking about for this one. So the student is correct in their analysis of, of choice D. Then we can quickly run through the other answer choices here. And sometimes it's hard to articulate something that's e exceptionally detailed, but I'll just run through what the student was saying and give my thoughts. A, this conclusion was never reached. People choose to consume because they believe it's beneficial. That's exactly correct. The argument is not saying that people believe it's beneficial. The conclusion is saying that it is in fact beneficial. So A is in fact, of course, incorrect. The student was correct in their, A is incorrect and the student was, was, that was correct in their analysis of this. B saying comparison based on popular belief or popular opinion. So popular belief here, the student saying public opinion. And yeah, that's right. The, the argument in general in the stimulus is not saying anything at all about public opinion overall or popular belief in general. It's only based on really science, based on research. research as the student says, research evidence, that's good. So B is out. C is saying methods of achieving the same beneficial effects that do not involve alcohol. C, this wasn't discussed. Correct. The student is correct here. The argument is not saying this is the only way to achieve this benefit. The argument is saying that this is simply beneficial in general, but there could be other ways to achieve similar beneficial results. The argument is agnostic on that. It's not making a claim one way or the other. So we see is, the student is correct about choice C and then looking at E, it fails to consider that alcohol may have no effect on many bacteria that cause illness in human beings. The student is saying this is not a flaw. We already know moderate consumptions help fight certain bacteria. Of course, it would have no effect on many other types of bacteria. Yeah, I mean, they're talking about certain bacteria. They're not making claims about others, and so there's not really anything wrong with, with the argument in this regard. They didn't need to talk about all bacteria in general. They're only talking about the certain bacteria here, and they're using that as evidence. So I thought the student did a, a pretty good job in their analysis of, of this question. And so I'd, I'd say well done on this one. This was a good analysis.